Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious. If this is your first time, I'm a mom of three kids and I've been married for over a decade. On this channel, I help you to make your relationship and family a work in progress through videos. Consider pressing the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like my videos. I'm going to be talking about my hair. It's a much requested video. People have asked me how I twist my hair, how, I'm, how did I decide to cut my hair and how I've been doing it. Can I just say to you, it wasn't a very easy decision because I've always loved making my hair. I enjoyed the different styling of the hair, but I had to just cut my hair, which I'm going to be telling you why. I had someone who was always coming to my house to make my hair, but at some point the lady got married and one thing led to another. She wasn't able to make my hair anymore. And the other people I tried, I wasn't getting the perfect look I wanted. I was wasting my time. If I have to make my hair, I have to have the, the, the whole day, literally the whole day to make my hair. It's more expensive and I'm not a weak person like, I know wig is beautiful. I've got a couple, but um, it's not just my thing. I prefer having braids on. So because I wasn't getting what I wanted, I just had to think of an alternative. The first thing that came to my mind was cut your hair. And I'm like, God, how can I cut my hair? I don't have the look to have a low cut. I spoke to my husband about it. He was like, I don't know why you're bothering yourself. Cut your hair if that's all you want. So I thought about it for a few um, um, weeks and I made up my mind I was going to cut my hair. So that was one decision settled. Now, what hairstyle do I need to have? What look do I want? I didn't, I didn't know. So I went online, checked a few pictures and I saw one that I thought, okay, it's going to help me. That was another decision settled. Who, who's going to cut my hair? What salon am I going to go to cut my hair? So I still went back, asked people, and I found out one salon. I went there to the barbers. I was so worried. I was so scared. In fact, the guy was like, he knew I was scared that, to cut my hair. So he said to me, you know what? Trust me. I'm a barber. I'm an artist. I'm going to cut your hair. I'm going to look at your face and I'm going to cut your hair. And I said, okay, I'll trust you for that. I gave him the picture I wanted and he said yeah that the picture looked okay that he think it was going to suit me and I cut my hair. I'm going to be inserting pictures of the way I look now and the way I looked when I had my hair so you can compare. Let me know sincerely what you think, which you do you think is best. Should I continue with my low cuts? Which to be honest, I am going to continue with my low cuts. Or do you think you like prefer me when I've got my braids and all my hair done? Let me know in the comment section which you think is suits me better. But to be honest, cutting my hair was a very difficult decision and it's also the best decision I have ever made because I bet I wash my hair every day like obviously I bet in the morning go to work in the evening have a shower so I have to wash my hair like I wash my hair every day you, you know that feeling you get when you you pour water on your hair and it just goes down it's a beautiful thing so I always look forward to washing my hair every day so today I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair from the way it looks now which is just I've just had a shower, combed it, there's actually nothing on my hair to what I, how I change it to my twisting. So for my natural hair, I don't use anything special. To be honest with you, you can use Vaseline if you can on your hair. Any hair moisturizer, any hair cream, any hair anything, it's fine for you. All I have is, I bought this hair product, it's called Cantu Share Butter for Natural Hair. I'm gonna be linking it on the description section. This is it, if you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna link, um, link it on the description section if you want to buy. It's, you can get it uh, from Amazon. I think you'll get it from Amazon, but I got it from the hair shop around me, but I'm sure you can get this from Amazon. And I also got this, it's just a normal hair cream, magic, blue magic. I got this for my hair. So if I'm honest, I don't really use this one as much. I just use my normal hair cream. So what I do is, I've already applied hair cream on anyway, but I'm just gonna show you what I do. I just, um use the hair cream on my hair, which is what you're seeing now, just on my hair, is nothing special, is nothing, anything. Then, 
this is where the magic happens i've got this sponge i'm sorry this is an old one this is what i've been using since i cut my hair so i've got this sponge i bought it from the hair shop as well and I'm, i know you can get it off amazon this sponge you have the hose this part that has the hose and this part i don't i don't know what that is used for i've never used this side i've only used this side for my hair so this sponge has different size or different um um size of the hole there are some holes that are big as in wide maybe for people that have um longer hair and there are holes that are very tiny for people that have shorter hair i just use this one for my hair from when i cut it to when it grows up like this so all you need to do is first of all you've washed your hair you've moisturized it you've combed it if you like to comb it you've combed it and one of the things i observed is that if your hair is wet it's like you're gonna is this is like you're gonna be soaking this um sponge with wet hair i prefer my hair to be dry for me to do it but in the morning when i'm going to work i just do it because i can't wait for my hair to be dry 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 and i'm not ready to use any blow dryer i've, I've left blow, blow dryer is for phoebe now so basically what you just do is use the sponge hold it whichever you can start on any side and you go on a circular like that you go on a circular motion like that you just keep going like that one thing i'm going to say is that if you start this way you have to continue this way you can't go this way because what you're basically doing is just undoing what you've done so you just go that way you keep going as you can see already my hair is beginning to um um the twist is beginning to show so you just keep going just keep going just keep going and going and going the more you do it the more twist you are going to get on your hair you just keep twisting round and round and round all over your hair it's just gonna be faster i am gonna be faster i am gonna be faster <laughs> basically this is what i do every morning it doesn't take me long like can you just see my look already can you tell like the, the difference from what it was before and what it is now that like it's this is all i do every morning some people when they do this in the morning let's say on monday morning they don't even bother washing their hair they have the same um the same twist for for like two three days i like to wash yeah, there's no way I'll have low coat and I won't have wash my hair. I won't pour water on my head. That is the reason I cut my hair. So I'm gonna pour water on my hair. So you just keep doing this, keep doing this. So if you want to concentrate, like, I always like to concentrate on the, the front because if you get the front very well, it becomes um it looks more pretty. So you just keep doing this. You just keep doing it. Don't forget, you don't change. You don't change the movements. Okay? I'm doing this. Is it clockwise? Yes. I'm doing this clockwise. No, clock goes like this. Yes, I'm doing it clockwise. So you don't want to do anti-clockwise. Sorry, my, my foam is, is... My sponge is spoiled. Who cares? So that's it. Keep doing it just like that. Just like that. Guys, what do you think? <laughs> this is the magic. Like, it, it's just. This is the magic. So you just keep doing it. Keep doing it until you get to the point where you think it's okay. Basically, one thing I'm going to warn you is that your hair is going to be because you're twisting your hair you're gonna have like tiny tiny particle of hair which to be honest if you're brushing your weave you have particle so yeah this is it what do you guys think let me know if you have any question about this let me know in the comment section i'm going to link the hair product i use and i'm going to link the sponge on the description section as well you can get it off amazon it's just an affiliate link if you buy it from amazon i'll get a tiny percentage because it's an affiliate link but that's not going to cost you anything at all 
so yeah so if you do this for two minutes this is it guys this is my hair what do you think about it and you can just go do top up your makeup or whatever you want to do guys this is the easiest and the it, it was a very diff difficult decision for me to actually cut my hair but i can tell you categorically that it's the best decision i have made in terms of my hair because it saves me so much time this hair i've cut the last time i cut my hair was in i think in march and this is august end of august and basically, if I'm cutting my hair, it costs me about £10 to cut my hair, which if I have to braid my hair, the minimum I'm going to braid my hair is £40. That's the minimum to braid my hair. And it's not going to last me three months. It's, gonna, it's not going to last me from March to August, which how many months? So you can imagine how much time is saving me, how much comfort, how much comfort because I have to bait and pour water on my hair every day, how much... Um, money is saving me as well so those are the three things if you can save you time it can save you money it can save you it can give you comfort guys like what what else do you want so if you're thinking about cutting your hair and you're worried about oh the how are you going to look do you know what the only way you can know is if you try it if you don't try it you would never know i would never have believed that low cut is going to suit me I would never, never have believed, but I had to try it. The only thing was that I said, if I try it and it doesn't suit me, I, then I go back to my me braiding my hair. But I tried it and it's the best decision I like. To be honest, whether it suits me or it doesn't suit me, it saves me time, it saves me money, and it's comfortable for me. So I'm not going to change it. People ask me, so when are you going to start making your hair? I don't know. You see this hair? I don't know when i'm going to change start making my hair again because it's just so comfortable it's so convenient like it is so convenient so if you've got any question about this video if you've got any question about the products i use please let me know in the comment section but if you're thinking about cutting your hair and you're worried about it please the only way you can know is what try it also let me know in the comment section my look now and my look before which you prefer I would like to know and that would be great so thank you so much for watching this video be grateful be positive and be yourself see you on my next video bye